Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we'll be looking at how we can install a uh, SSL certificate, uh, self-signed certificate onto a GitLab server. So what is the purpose of installing the SSL certificate? So in order to uh, make our uh, communication with the GitLab server secure, we need to configure our GitLab server with this uh, SSL certificate so that the communication that we uh, carry out with the GitLab server is secure and the data is not uh, uh, compromised. Okay. So here in this video, we will see how we can secure our GitLab server using the self-signed certificate that we are going to generate uh, in this video. Okay. So here is the article that I'm going to uh, refer uh, for this video. Uh, and as you can see, uh, like uh, I already have a GitLab server uh, set up. So let me show you. Uh, so this is my GitLab server uh, on Git server uh, wherein I have installed. So the host name is uh, git server .stack .com. Okay. So if we go into the uh, portal, so right now it is not secure. Okay. So as you can see, it is not secure. Uh, it is not configured with any certificate. So we are just uh, having a, a GitLab server running on HTTP port that is port 80. Okay. So let us see like how we can uh, secure our GitLab server using a self-signed certificate. So as a first step, we need to uh, generate our SSL certificate uh, for the uh, FTDN uh, on which our GitLab server is running. So in my case, like I am going to generate an SSL certificate uh, that is a public key and private key uh, for git server.stack.com. So we are going to use OpenSSL uh, tool to generate our certificates. Uh, so for that purpose, before uh, we can uh, generate the certificate, we need to create this SSL cert config file. So let me show you that SSL cert config file. So it basically uh, provides our uh, certificate details. So these are the uh, country, state, locality, organization, organization unit and the CA name of the certificate that we want uh, for a, a certificate to be generated. Okay. And this is the key usage uh, wherein we want to generate our uh, certificate with the following uh, key usage and extension key usages and here you can see these are the alternate names so, so subject alternative names uh, which I have provided so here I have given my GitLab server uh, FQDN and the GitLab runner server FQDN also for uh, future references okay so this is how like you can uh, create your uh, SSL config file which we will be using with the OpenSSL command to generate our SSL certificates. Okay, so here is the OpenSSL certificate that we are going to use to generate our SSL public key and private key files. Okay, so here we are uh, you, uh, generating the X509 certificate with 730 days expiry and the key strength is 2048 and we are going to output our key into this file and the certificate into this file and we are going to use this config file and the extension is p3 request okay so let us generate this uh, certificates so now we have the git server stack dot com dot key and dot cert files generated okay now let us go on and see like what we need to do in our next step Okay, so we have our SSL cert and key file generated. Now we need to, uh, so the main configuration file that is used in the GitLab server is etc gitlab gitlab.rp file. Okay, so, so let me show you uh, the main configuration file uh, on the server, GitLab, GitLab, so uh, GitLab folder and GitLab dot rb file okay i missed the vi okay so here this is the main configuration file that we are going uh, that is uh, the gitlab server uses uh, to uh, start up all these services okay so as we are going to configure our uh, server to communicate on uh, the secure protocol that is https we need to change our external URL 
uh, with uh, from HTTP to HTTPS so that it communicates on HTTPS protocol. Okay, so we will save this changes. So we uh, so as for the second step, we have a, uh, we have updated our external URL to point to HTTPS and this uh, step like what, what we have seen now. Okay, so now coming to the next step, that is step three. We need to copy our uh, key file and the cert file that we generated into etc gitlab ssl folder okay so why we need to copy, uh, copy it into the etc uh, gitlab ssl folder is like by default the gitlab server is configured to look for the ssl certificates for the gitlab server in this particular folder and also the name of the certificates uh, the cert file and the key file should be uh, starting with the uh, fully qualified domain name of the server okay so that is the purpose like we have generated our certificate with the fqdn dot key and fqdn dot cert file so how we can know uh, that uh, like it is looking for uh, that particular folder is so if you go into uh, etc gitlab gitlab dot rp file and search for gitlab search for okay so let me search for uh, GitLab Nginx and in this GitLab okay so I need to use sudo let me search for uh, that path directly so we are going to search etc GitLab SSL so as you can see the gitlab server uh, is configured uh, with uh, that uh, like basically it looks for ssl certificate and ssl certificate key file in etc gitlab ssl folder by default okay so that is why like we have kept our certificates into that uh, we need to keep our certificates into that particular folder okay so for that purpose we are going to create this folder structure and copy uh, and provide some uh, Firefly permissions for that folder and and copy that uh, certificates into uh, certificate and key file into that particular folder okay okay let me do sudo because that folder is uh, owned with root user okay so now we have our gitlab ssl folder uh, like with the cert file and the key file okay so now like what we need to do is we need to reconfigure uh, the gitlab server so we need to run this command gitlab ctl reconfigure sudo gitlab So now you can see the GitLab uh, server is reconfigured. Uh, but let me try to search in this console uh, for git server dot stack dot com and go on to top. So as you can see, so here the HTTPS server is configured like in the nginx uh, 
uh, server uh, wherein uh, the SSL certificate and the SSL certificate key file has been included uh, like what we have copied into etc gitlab and uh, SSL certificate and this is how like the uh, the gitlab server reconfigures uh, reconfigures the nginx settings so that it can communicate with the uh, https protocol okay so now uh, let us try to access our uh, gitlab server so right now if you go and access on http protocol it is not going to accept it because we have reconfigured it with https so let us try to access with https protocol now and as you can see it goes and ask for uh, accepting the certificate uh, as we have configured uh, with a self signed certificate so this warning uh, uh, we will be getting it uh, but we can accept it and uh, continue and you can see like now uh, uh, if we go into the information like we can view the certificate which is configured okay so this is the certificate that we generated and copied and configured with our gitlab server okay so yeah so this is how like we can configure our gitlab server uh, with uh, a self-signed certificate to make sure that uh, it complicates on https protocol I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you all. Thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day.